Hello everyone, this is Al Kabir, the analyst, and today I will be talking Philadelphia Eagles, Howie Roseman, yes, Howie Roseman rumored to be actively seeking to trade back up in the top 10. This is the most confusing organization of all time. This is Al Kabir, the analyst. Um, Eagles are confusing, man. Um... I don't know what to say. Uh, we had the sixth pick already, right? From wrong six, something like that. We had the sixth pick. We trade back, and now we're looking to trade back up, which we might have to give up one of those picks um, in 2022. So when I say I'm confused, I am confused. So salute to JPA football, where I get most of my news at, of course, from other places as well. But they put this out. I'm like, what is going on? What is Howie Roseman doing? We already was up. We was already there. Why not keep the spot where it's though? Remember, we was fighting maybe Jamar Chase, maybe Kyle Pitts. Why didn't you keep us there? Are you having buyer's remorse? Or are you still trying to actively seek a quarterback? What is going on? What is going on, man? And I'm at this point, man. I just can't wait till the draft is over. It's just simple as that because I, I just have to see the direction we're going. It's like how we, if this is true, how he's not leading us the right way. He He's just confused. Uh, okay, you trade back. When you look at 2022, it, it, it's an image. It's bright. Three first rounders, get one from the Colts possibly. Well, let me say that's a compensation. Maybe first or second, which is not bad. Then you get two first round guaranteed picks from you and from the Dolphins. And now you're looking to trade back up. Uh, I'm just literally confused. I don't even know what to say or think about this besides Howie Roseman once again just screws everything up. It's like he don't know what he's doing. Numbers, yes. Making deals, yes. But what he do with the deals and the players he pick, it's like he don't know football. You know, numbers and things like that, how to move things from here to there. But he just simply don't know football. Sis pick, you're going to get, if you kept it the same way, you're going to get a generational talent, depending on how you drive, obviously. But your odds of getting a generational talent is extremely high, right? You trade back, which I was pissed off about. But then when you look at it and you read the full trade details, it's like you, you possibly get three pits next year. Maybe this year is possibly a wash. We don't know. We just seeing the players going to develop. And then you go from that to now we actively seeking to move back up, which we possibly have to give up one of those picks in the 2022 draft. It's like you're working backwards unless you get the Atlanta spot. Unless you get Atlanta spot, then I'm like, OK, I see the vision on that. But other than that, if you're just trying to get to back to the top 10 and get like the ninth pick or trade with the Lions or something, it's like, why would you do that? And he was already ahead of them. Are you trying to trade with the Panthers? Like, why would you do that? What's the point? Once again, it has to be buyer's remorse if this true. Or I don't know. I just simply don't know. Times like this make me hate that I'm an Eagles fan, but I love them so much. But that front office is pissing me off, man, if this true. That front office is pissing me off. We just not ran correctly. We not ran correctly. Once again, know how to restructure a deal, know how to make a trade, but then this, I mean, Howie, come on, man. Come on, can I, can I see something good again in the news from you, man? Why do I have to hear that we trying to trade back up? Just keep it how it is. Might as well keep it how, to, how it is. Live with your decision. We at 12. We, we can possibly still get a generational talent. Of course, the odds lessen. But come on. Just keep it how it is. 2022. Possibly three. 
first round picks and let's just rock and roll with that let's just rock and roll with that let's get the receiver or the cornerback we might get because I, I i just got this gut feeling that he's still trying to push for a quarterback and i just hope i, I hope that's not the case i really hope that's not the case <sighs> oh my god man I did not expect the report on the Eagles, but they do it. They they know how to do it, man. But what do you think and how do you feel about how we actively, the word actively is big, trying to get back in the top 10 when he already was in the top 10. He was just outside of the top five. I don't know, but this is Al Kabir, the analyst. Ghost.